Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Awkward Guests, The Walton Case, published by Megacorpin Games. Now this is a fully sleeved copy of the game. Let's take a look inside. So first off, this game has no lid lift. And we lift off that top here. And first off, we have our eight player screens. We have our rule book with our selector sheet on the back here. We have all of our paper sheets. So this is for all of our suspects and your whodunit. And then we have the laminated versions of those sheets. Now, when you do laminate these, uh, keep in mind that these are going to be larger than a standard sheet of paper. So you'll either need to cut them down, which is what we've done here on the sides, or you'll need to just use a larger laminating machine. So eight copies of those laminated sheets. And then here you're going to find that the insert for this game is actually pretty dang good. So each of these trays here are going to hold 50 cards. So 1 to 50, 51 to 100, 101 to 150. And so you'll simply take them out by lifting that side there. So this is going to have all of your cards numbered from 1 to 50 in those corners there because you will need to pick specific numbers. So these are standard size clear sleeves. I'll leave a link in the description for the sleeves that I use here. But you will need about uh, 257 sleeves for the whole game, something like that. So these five sections are all the same, and you are going to leave the insert that they come with inside. Then the next thing you'll notice is this bottom tray. You'll simply pull up the sides here, and everything will come out inside. In here, you're going to have all of your various tokens. So this is going to include the Mr. Walton standee. This is to mark first player. You have all of these different token chips. These are going to be for the I can solve the crime or I can't right now. And then you have all of your tokens that are going to mark your values. Now, you don't need to organize these any specific. You're kind of just going to scatter them on the table, make sure that they're within reach of everybody. And then same thing with these. You're going to put two on each side. So these are going to be for marking on that sheet of paper here as to what you think is the things that you want pieces of information on. And then these are going to show the values of your cards. So once again, you can just put a little bit onto each side of the board, uh, two of these onto each side of your play space, and you should be good to go. And they all fit nicely into this confidential tray. So in this confidential tray, there's also your confidential card that just kind of goes on top to keep everything secret, as well as just some profile cards for the different characters in the game. These are just basically flavor text, but they're fun. I like them. You can read them as people are waiting or as the game's setting up. It gives some good flavor to what's going on. Cute. I really like this. And that's everything in the game. So let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, we'll take that confidential tray and we'll put the cards in and we'll just kind of slide that on into this bottom section. Now I really like doing that because it's easy to pull everything out. You just simply pull the tray off. We'll put all those tokens in there. Our Mr. Walton standee is also gonna go in there as well as the rest of the tokens. And once again, you can kind of just throw them on top because you'll just kind of take it out uh, by pulling those sides out when you're ready to go. All the cards remain in their spots. We'll take our laminated sheets, put them on top of here. We'll take our paper sheets, put them on top of the laminated ones. And then we take our rule book. And lastly, our player screens. And that is organizing awkward guests. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on organizing awkward guests. Do you sleeve your game? Do you use the organizer that's included? I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any videos that you'd like to see for organizing in the future, please let me know. But thank you again. Side game strong.